Uh, good afternoon everybody, I am Dr. Gaurav Jawa, I am the Senior Consultant and Head uh, Department of Neonatology and Pediatrics, Apollo Cradle Royale, uh, Nehru Place. Uh, I am just going to talk a little bit about uh, why some babies are born premature and uh, doing about it and how uh, things can be changed. Uh, prematurity basically means that uh, the pregnancy hasn't carried on till 37 weeks. A term baby would be at 37 to 42 weeks. Any baby that is born less than 37 weeks is called as a premature baby. Just to talk about the number of these babies, uh, annually, worldwide, 15 million babies are born premature. It is the major cause of death in babies less than 5 years of age. Almost 1 million babies die because they are born premature. In India, the size actually increases from 12%, it's almost up to 20% of all deliveries are born premature. Uh, so that would mean uh, annually 1.3 million babies in India are born premature. What is wrong with prematurity? It basically means because as uh, a well-cooked meal uh, requires a good normal timing, a well-formed baby also needs at least 37 weeks. So if the baby is born less than 37 weeks, their organ systems are uh, premature. Organ systems primarily means lungs, they are not breathing inside. But when they come out, their lungs need to be well prepared and well formed. So that is the major morbidity that we deal with when the babies are born premature. The more premature the baby, the more solid the lungs are, the less are the chances that the baby is able to breathe. The other organ systems like kidneys, uh, heart, brain primarily are more premature when they are born. How can we prevent prematurity? Currently all obstetric practices are uh, timed and based on how to prolong pregnancy as much as possible. And it starts right from the beginning, from preconception period, uh, adolescent girls, their nutrition needs to be improved, their anemia needs to be improved, their vitamin levels needs to be improved. There has to be proper timing for pregnancy, they shouldn't be early, especially in the adolescent periods. Then there has to be proper birthing spaces in between pregnancy. Any ongoing current medical illnesses in the preconception period like diabetes or kidney related issues or cardiac related issues need to be better managed. Once the mother goes into the pregnancy period, then the pregnancy itself has to be better managed. More regular checkups, more regular follow up with the doctors, better nutrition needs to be followed up. Any problems that arise during pregnancy also has to be managed. The update nowadays is with the antenatal steroids. They have markedly improved the survival rates of these premature babies and the health of these premature babies. So we need to make sure that the, the provision of antenatal steroids is given to any mother who has a threatened preterm delivery. Uh, what are the causes for these premature babies? Why are these babies born, being born premature? Uh, it can be both a mix of uh, the maternal causes as well as the fetal related causes. In maternal causes, I've already talked about a few of them. It can be uh, the pregnancy itself causing hypertension or the diabetes or if there is multiple pregnancy, like uh, it, the pregnancies have come at a very short intervals itself. Or it can be fetal related causes, uh, which can be multiple gestation, that there are two babies, it can be twins or triplets or quadruplets even. Or it has been nowadays the more dominant role of the IVF pregnancy. Somehow it does tend to cause a lesser gestational age. And many times these IVF babies are multiple. So therefore more chances of having a premature delivery. Then uh, some genetic facts are uh, causing uh, premature delivery. Uh, sometimes, many times, we do tend to see infections also in the mother. That is related to hygiene and the lower immunity caused by pregnancy itself. Or an intrauterine infection that has been in the baby, which is preventing it to grow. Many times it can be induced because we want to terminate the pregnancy as the baby is suffering or the mother is suffering. Many times the mothers do themselves go into spontaneous labor. With the current advances in medicinal systems, we are able to manage these preterm babies much better. Uh, however, before 24-25 weeks, uh, the current survival rate of these premature babies is very, very low and therefore not advisable in a slightly lower socioeconomic status country like ours. Therefore, we tend to manage and uh, promote survival of babies after only 24 to 25 weeks. Thereafter, if the babies are born with the mother getting the antenatal steroids, 
and we do ask these deliveries to happen in more equipped centers, more tertiary care centers and better managed mothers inside, uh, then the chances of survival increases with every gestational age. So therefore the chance would be uh, say 50% at 25-26 weeks and goes almost up to 90-100% to after 28 weeks. So the best chance that the baby has to carry on inside the mother as much as possible. And these preemies need very special care and they're very fragile. They have a poor uh, immune system and poor ability to grow. Therefore, they need special care. And all these premature babies, when they're born before, uh, say, 37 weeks of gestation age, uh, they require a higher level of nursery care, uh, say, level 2 or level 3 in ICU care. Many times, they also need to be ventilated or their breathing needs to be supported with, say, non-invasive methods that are much better now. Nowadays, we have uh, stuff to support their breathing as well as to keep their lungs open. For the same reason, they might also need cardiac care, they might also need surgical care. Therefore, whenever a gynecologist or the obstetrician thinks that the mother has a threatened preterm labor or their chances the baby might be born prematurely, the delivery must happen in a center which is equipped with a level 2, level 3 and ICU care and which has the expertise and the experience of handling such babies. Uh, at Apollo Cradle Royale and the other Apollo Cradles, we do have level 2, level 3 NICUs and the backup for surgical and cardiology expertise. And uh, if preferred, these babies rather than being delivered outside and transported here, which can destabilize a premature baby, it is preferred that the delivery here with the in utero transfer gets uh, done at the center itself. And the babies are right from the word go are managed here and therefore the chances of survival as well as their overall health status is markedly improved. Thank you. Uh, this is Dr. Gaurav Java signing off from Apollo Cradle Royale. Uh, you'll always be in safe hands with us.